What's up you guys, Jenny Streeby here, and guess what, my model canceled, they sh didn't show up. So I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this time with my buddy Alex here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get the three bobby pin updo, utilizing some dry texture air from Air Professional. Now, anytime you're creating a very easy swept up updo, it's super important to have a really nice texture to the hair. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is curl the hair, add some dry texture spray, and then whip it up into a fun, super quick updo. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers, section my hair out, and this is actually how I um, curl my hair every single day. Boop, just gonna put that right there. So we're gonna take a one inch curling iron, and when I'm at home doing this myself, I actually kind of tilt my head a little bit because it kind of helps it kind of naturally fall that way. And I'm using my hot tools and it's about, I would say about 370. So I don't have it all the way up because I just want a little bit of bend, clamping it down, letting it ease through the hair tongue and releasing. So I'm just gonna do that a little bit faster now, working throughout the whole head of the hair and then dropping that top section. I always like to curl away from the face too. Kind of leave my little baby wisps out because those are fragile pieces to say the least. And then continue all the way. And clamp me down. Back, I just kind of do it by feel. Just kind of grabbing pieces and clamping down. This is how I curl my hair every day. I just want to throw it out there. Okay, so now before releasing that top section, I'm gonna grab some texture spray by Air Professional. Texture Air, it's infused with crystal quartz and mica. So this is like a dry shampoo on steroids. You guys can see how fine my hair looks, right? So my hair is like baby fine. So now this is gonna add a lot of fullness to it. Picking it up at the root area. Look how full that got in a matter of seconds. This comes out pretty powerful on purpose because it's not overly heavy dry texture spray. So you can see, boom, you guys, what a big difference. So incredible. We're gonna go ahead and take the next section. If you guys had thicker hair than mine, you could definitely take more sections, but Again, I'm just adding a little bit of texture to it with the curling iron, a little bend, I should say, and then some texture with the texture spray. So again, clamping down, easing it through, releasing, continuing to go away from the face. I like straighter ends because it gives it a softer kind of feel, not so um, glam, I guess. A little alternative. You don't wanna like overthink your curls either. It's super important to just kinda like add the bends because this looks super tight. This one isn't as tight, but when you run your fingers through it, it's all gonna kind of mesh and it's also going to kind of give it that erratic texture look opposed to perfect. Cause I'm going for like an effortless updo. See, it looks a little erratic, just kind of the curls are kind of all over the place. And I'm just gonna take my fingers and kind of brush it out with my fingers here. You guys see that? So now I'm gonna use some more of the Texture Air. It's a dry texture spray here and just really get in there. I like to kind of pick it up and then get it at the root area. So you guys, what a big difference this side looks compared to the right. See how that gave it lots of fullness and long, lots of like oomph almost? So we're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Really focusing at those roots. 
All right, so now I'm just gonna go through it with my fingers. Okay, so my updo is gonna go in the back. So I'm gonna leave some of these little pieces out around the face. Now, a few inches away from the hairline, I'm just gonna kind of comb it back. You can tease it if you'd like. So now I'm gonna take my three bobby pins, one at a time. I'm just gonna twist this, twist it in the back, and almost like fold the hair over like you would like a French twist. Taking the bobby pin, the lip of the bobby pin, Guys, I don't have a mirror or anything. I'm just kind of doing this organically because I want it to look kind of soft. Add a little bit more texture spray before I put the last one in. So we're gonna do one more. Put it up here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it apart a little bit, holding onto this and kind of pulling it up at the root just to kind of let some of the curl bounce back from it. And we are gonna embellish it with some hair clips. So you guys have probably noticed that hair clips are a huge trend right now. These are from Brooklyn and Bailey. I'm just going to kind of where I did the twist, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right in there and just have it a little variety. I'm gonna do a plain one like up here. You guys want to know a fun fact I have a bobby pin tattoo right there it's not falling it's not the one out of the three it's just a little tattoo for fun I always forget about it and that is about it so that's my little quick little chignong I guess more like a, a French twist but I use three bobby pins but the key to the style really is that curl and that dry texture spray but if you guys have thick hair too you probably want to use a few more bobby pins um, sometimes you can actually use a ponytail ponytail it together and then twist it if your hair is super thick anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial on myself and i'll see you guys soon definitely check out texture air